I asked all of you for questions on my YouTube community page as well as my Instagram story. In this video, I'm going to answer every single question that you asked me. What are your goals in life? Will you give me a referral? If you were given another life, would you still pursue coding or try something else? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm John, your friend in tech. I'm a software engineer based in the Bay Area and I work on Android and the Google Pixel. To celebrate having 5,000 of you here with me, I asked you to send me questions that you want me to answer. I honestly didn't think I'd get that many questions just because it's my first time doing this, but I actually received quite a lot, so we're just gonna be going through these really quickly. And I also grouped the questions into four main categories. The first one is questions about me, then questions about coding and software engineering, then questions about Google, and then the fourth one is miscellaneous questions that didn't really fit into the, any of the other categories. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet, but just in case it ends up being a long video, I'll make sure to leave timestamps for all the questions down in the description. So feel free to jump around to any questions that are relevant to you. Before we begin, I actually have a question for you and that is, will you smash the like button? It really helps my channel with the YouTube algorithm and I would know about algorithms because I'm a software engineer. So with that said, let's get started. First category is going to be questions about me and these are questions about my job, my education, and then some miscellaneous questions. Is Google your first company? So Google is the first company where I've worked as a full-time software engineer, but I've interned at other tech companies and I've also worked part-time at a tech company during college too. Do you code every single day? The answer is no, and I actually have a video of a day in my life where I don't code at all, so check that out if you are interested in that. Did you meet Google CEO? I have not met Sundar, who is the current CEO, but I have met Larry and Sergey, who were the CEOs. So I have two questions about my Google interviews. How did I prepare? and how many rounds of interviews did I have. So I prepared just by using the Cracking the Coding interview book and I also practiced my mock interviews with my classmates. So do you think you'll be in Google for a very long time and do you think you'll retire at Google? I'm still relatively early in my career but I think these are good questions to think about. One of my coworkers joined Google thinking they would leave within two to four years and now they've been at Google for 10 years and I can see the same thing happening to me. I just really enjoy the lifestyle I have working at Google in terms of work-life balance and enjoying my coworkers and enjoying the work I do. But I am keeping an open mind to new opportunities as well. If you were given another life, would you still pursue coding or try something else? So personally, I'm really happy with my decision to become a software engineer. I really enjoy it, I'm good at it, and I make a lot of money from it, so no complaints from me. Have you ever considered using a Linux distro for work? I actually prefer Macs, and so that's why I use my MacBook. Okay, now I have a couple of questions about my education. Where did you get your knowledge from? So I studied computer science in college, and I have both my bachelor's and master's in computer science. So I'm actually going to make an entire video about my computer science degrees, and so subscribe and stay tuned for that. So what are the professional certificates that you have, and do you plan on getting anything else in the future? I actually have zero professional certificates and right now I don't really plan on getting any in the future because I don't really need them. What are your goals in life? This is a really good question and I think it's so broad but to answer it really quickly I think my overall goal in life is to be happy and have fun. I think we only have this one life to live so why not enjoy it. One concrete goal I have is to become financially independent and I'll talk about that in a separate video as well. So someone asked, are you single? And no, I'm happily in a relationship. At what age did you start learning how to code? I learned how to code in college, so I think I was 18 at the time. Have you ever thought of the possibility of becoming a billionaire because of coding? I've never really thought about becoming a billionaire, but I do plan on becoming a multimillionaire in my life. So how many hours of sleep do you get? So I try and get a full night's rest, which is usually about seven or eight hours for me. If I get anything less, it really affects the rest of my day, and so I really prioritize getting enough sleep. What is your job's workload? I've talked about this a lot on my channel, but I really value work-life balance, and so I work about eight hours a week and 40 hours no eight hours a day and 40 hours a week and it's taken me a while to get to this point too of learning how to manage my time properly so that I don't overwork myself and working with my manager to make sure that I'm still meeting all my expectations. Do you ever come to a point where you don't want to code anymore and why? Yes, I've definitely run into this, especially when I'm debugging something and I can't figure it out. Sometimes I just need a break from coding. <laughs> so what do you do when you feel burned out and how do you cope with work when you're not in a good state of mind? So honestly, I take breaks. I take time off. I take a mental health day to really prioritize my mental health because if I'm working while I'm burnt out, it's my work is going to be trash. I'm going to be really unproductive anyways, so I'd rather 
to just take that time to get the rest I need and then I can get back to work when I feel better. So do you like San Francisco or Mountain View offices? I like them both. My main office is Mountain View but I do like to pop into the San Francisco office if I'm going to be hanging out with friends in the city afterwards or something like that. What do you think about India? I've never been to India but I would be interested in going. I know a lot of my viewers are from India so let me know something cool about India and why I should go. Have you watched Squid Game on Netflix and what do you enjoy outside of tech and coding? I haven't watched it yet but I do plan on it. I've been trying to avoid spoilers online but everyone is talking about it so I need to catch up on it soon. In terms of what I enjoy outside of tech and coding, so right now I'm really enjoying figuring out how to do all this YouTube YouTube stuff. There's so much that goes into it. There's lighting, audio, videography, there's storytelling, how to write a script, how to edit so that people continue to watch your videos, and there's just so much that goes into it. It's really interesting. Which is your favorite book? My favorite fiction book is The Alchemist. It's a story about following your dreams, and it's pretty short. I highly recommend reading it. I've actually reread it a couple of times throughout my life. My favorite non-fiction book is a finance book called I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Rami Sefti. This book really ignited my passion for personal finance, and learning how to manage my money so that I can live a rich life. And by rich life, it means, you know, whatever you want your life to look like. So if you want to buy these books and support my channel, I'll leave affiliate links down in the description below. So I have a comment that comes in three different questions. How do I do my panning vids on Instagram? So my reels on Instagram are actually just clips from my YouTube videos and I use Final Cut Pro to edit it. How do you feel about the performance review system at Google? Do you feel like it rewards what should be rewarded? So I don't want to reveal too much information about Google's internal systems, so I'm going to avoid commenting on this one. What are your long-term career goals? So right now I'm not really interested in managing people, so I'm currently pursuing more of a tech lead role. So I have a question and I don't really understand it, and I think it's because I went to college in the United States, and so this doesn't really apply to us. Okay, on to the next category of questions, which is coding and software engineer questions. Is it worth doing a PhD in computer science after a master's degree? I think it depends on what your goals are for getting a PhD. Can you achieve those goals without a PhD? If you can, then maybe it's not worth it. So do you need to have a computer science background to become a software developer? The answer is no, you don't need a formal computer science background. You just need to know how to code. Any tips for someone who just started his bachelor in computer science? I will say learning how to code, there is definitely a learning curve. So start your projects early so that you have enough time to ask your professors for help and definitely go to office hours. Where to practice coding? There's tons of websites online, there's tutorials you can follow, but the best way I think to practice is to work on a personal project and build something you would actually use. How can you be a good software engineer? I think by practicing your skills, you can improve over time. What soft skills do I need to be a good developer? You need to be able to communicate effectively, you need to be able to collaborate because software engineering is a super collaborative field. So how can I improve my skills on problem solving as a self-taught developer? Do I have any book or course recommendations? So one of the books I recommend that I've actually used is Design Patterns and it talks about elements of reusable object-oriented software. What are the cons of being a software engineer and what do you dislike about it? So I'm gonna make a video about all the things I don't like about software engineering, but one of them is that problem solving all day long can be really tiring and can cause to burn out, which is a really serious issue. But if you manage your mental health, you can avoid this. Okay, now I have general Google questions. So I just wanna give a disclaimer that this is my personal YouTube channel and even though I work at Google, I'm not speaking on Google's behalf. I'm only speaking for myself and my own experiences and opinions. So I have a couple of questions related to if I can guide people into getting into Google or if I can mentor people. And I wish I had the resources to help all of you individually, but I can't. And so I'm really focusing on creating YouTube content that will help my entire audience. So no, I can't be your mentor and no, I can't guide you into Google. But let me know if there are any video ideas that I can make that will help you in your journey. So I have a couple of questions related to how people can apply to Google internships and the internship applications are open right now. So if you are in college and you qualify I definitely recommend you apply. But Google has a ton of resources for students and for their internship program, so I'll link it down below. Does Google provide a place to live for their interns? So the first time I interned at Google, they did provide housing for the interns, and so I opted into that. But I don't think they do it anymore. I'm not sure. You could ask the intern team. Can I do an internship at Google from Bangladesh? I think this is a great question you could ask the intern team. So I have a lot of questions of people asking me how they can get into Google. And these are really hard to answer because everyone's path to Google is going to look so different. I want to say at the very least, you want to look at the application to be a software engineer and see if you meet all the requirements there. 
And if, if you don't meet the requirements, you can work on meeting them. If you do meet the requirements, you should apply and see if you can get in. What do I have to do to get my job at Google or any other company? How can I approach them, websites or forum? You can definitely apply to the companies directly on their website. And if they have events, you can see if you can meet up with any employees there. A lot of things are virtual now, but things like career fairs or tech talks, those are all great ways to network. Will you give me a referral? No, I'm sorry, I cannot give any of my viewers a referral. What are the required programming languages to get a job at Google? I recommend you looking at whatever role you're interested in and seeing on the application page again what the minimum qualifications are. They'll usually list the languages you would need to know. Can I get a software engineering job at Google with a diploma in software development? Yes, you can. Do you use GitHub and Google? What's the best thing about Google? Do you go to Stack Overflow if you are stuck in anything? So I don't use GitHub and Google. The best thing about Google for me is the people. I really enjoy the people I work with. And yes, of course I use Stack Overflow just like anyone else. How to get international referrals to get into Google as a fresher. I'm sorry, I don't have any experience getting international referrals. Google being a top tech company with thousands of software engineers, how well are individual contributions and team contributions recognized and appreciated? I would say we're pretty well recognized and appreciated, but I can only speak from my experience. What is the plan of Google about the home office and in the office after COVID? So Google has a blog called The Keyword and they actually cover this. So I will link it down below and I'll pop it up on screen really quickly. I wanna become a security analyst in Google. What are the skills I have to develop? So go to the careers page on Google, look up security analyst, and then look up the minimum qualifications. Another similar question is, is there any way to work at FANG as an electric engineer? Yes, there is. Go to the careers page of any of the FANG sites and you can type in electrical engineer and you can see what roles they have available. So now I'm gonna be going over miscellaneous questions. So if you've been watching this whole video, thank you for staying with me. I know there has been a lot of questions. We're in the last category and there's only like five of them. So let's get through it really quickly. Is JavaScript a good choice for preparing for data structures and algorithms? Does language matter? So I think the best language to interview in is the the language you're most comfortable with. So, so if that's JavaScript for you, then use JavaScript. For data analysis, which is more used, Python or R? I'm sorry, I don't work on data analysis, so I don't have the answer for you. I know that fan companies have offices stationed around the world. Would you say that the starting salaries vary depending on location? Yes, they do vary depending on location. What locations would be better to get the cheapest cost of living compared to the salary? So I don't have the data to answer that question. Will you teach coding and how to make projects in your YouTube channel? So I don't have any plans to teach coding on my channel. That's not really what my channel is about, but I do plan on showing my personal projects on here. So stay tuned for that. Can you make a video on various free food inside of Google? It can be a great motivation for some foodies like me. I think this is a really great idea. So thank you for suggesting it. I actually received two comments that had no questions. So I'll just put them up on the screen. So I just wanna say thank you again to everybody that leaves nice comments. Honestly, it makes me feel good. All right, that was a lot of questions. Thank you for sticking with me. And if you have any more questions, do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you at the next Q&A at 10K.